Hey everyone, this is Dr. Jad, and today we're going over the MRCP PACES history taking and communication stations. Watch this video till the end to get all the tips that allowed me to pass with just 11 days practice. Before we continue, a quick disclaimer. I don't recommend leaving your exam preparation for the last two weeks. I just wasn't given a choice as I'd been put on the waiting list and I didn't think I would be given a slot. Now that's out of the way, here are my top tips. 1. Active listening. Demonstrate excellent listening skills during the patient encounter. Pay close attention to the patient's responses, nonverbal cues, and emotions. Show empathy and understanding, making the patient feel comfortable and valued. 2. Establish rapport. Build a rapport with a patient from the beginning. Greet them politely, introduce yourself, and address them by their preferred name. Establishing a good doctor-patient relationship is crucial for effective communication. 3. Structure your history taking. Organize your approach to history taking to ensure you cover all essential aspects. Don't use medical jargon, but do use a systematic framework such as ICE, Ideas, Concerns, Expectations, to ensure a comprehensive assessment. At the end of each section of the history or communication situation, ICE the patient and check their understanding and whether they have questions. If you use each section of your station as a checkpoint like this, you're more likely to score top marks. 4. Use open-ended questions. Encourage patients to provide detailed information by asking open-ended questions. This helps to elicit more relevant history and allows patients to express their concerns. Follow up with focused questions to gather specific details. 5. Use appropriate body language. Maintain appropriate eye contact with the patient and exhibit attentive body language. Demonstrate interest and engagement through nodding, leaning forward, and using facial expressions that convey empathy and understanding. 6. Summarize and clarify. Summarize the key points the patient has shared to ensure accuracy and demonstrate active listening. Seek clarification if any details are unclear or ambiguous. This shows your commitment to understanding the patient's perspective. 7. Be concise and organized. Present your findings in a clear, concise manner. Avoid rambling or going into unnecessary detail. Structure your communication logically, highlighting the most important aspects relevant to the patient's condition. 8. Prepare thoroughly. Familiarize yourself with the common clinical scenarios encountered in the exam. Study relevant medical conditions, their key features, and associated questions to ask the patients. Practice your history-taking skills extensively to ensure you cover all necessary aspects. To achieve this, you want to make sure you're using the best online revision materials, as it's going to be very hard to practice these skills with real patients at work under exam conditions, unless you're attending a training session. By picking the right online revision resources, you can make your revision much more efficient. The two online resources I used were Pass Test and Clinical Skills Pro. I personally think it's a good idea to use them both, because the mixture of pathologies, presenting and questioning styles will make you dynamic enough to think on the spot and ace your exam. By not relying on one resource only, it makes you much better at thinking on the spot under exam pressure. I don't think I would have passed without using both Pass Test and Clinical Skills Pro, so I would recommend them both. Even though it costs more to use both, you can use my discount codes in the description below to save money, and it's much cheaper than repeating the PACES exam, so I think it's a worthy investment. Remember, effective communication is as important as clinical knowledge in the MRCP PACES exam. Developing good interpersonal skills, active listening, and empathy will greatly enhance your performance in the history taking and communication stations. I hope this was useful. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any tips on how to pass your paces. Feel free to ask any questions in the comments section and see you soon.